groundwork, a lot of research, she had to develop systems, she had to consider the principles involved in setting up a retirees association. There were lots of people to be consulted and convinced, and lots of details to be followed up. Uh, Linda, I have to say, in the time that I've been at the CCRA, is that Linda has managed it all with great thoughtfulness and persistence and professionalism and grace. Um, and <laughs> I must add to that an endless supply of patience working with the policy <laughs> board. Uh, over the eight years, Linda has worked very closely with the President's office, uh, thanks to Maureen, who uh, is not here today, not able to be with us today, with the Alumni Association, thank you Dana, uh, and Emma working with us now, with the Human Resources Office, and with all other parts of the college. As, as, as needs required, Linda was in there working with somebody in the college. So we have a very close relationship with the college itself. She's also researched and worked with other colleges and their CCRA, so we're not a standalone. We are working along with other, other um, retirees associations. Um, she, most of all, Linda, what, what the, the great skill that Linda has is consultation, research and consultation. And she consulted with us all the time, and she set up, developed, guided, a board of volunteers who I have to say actually enjoy going to meetings. <laughs> she whipped us all into shape, uh, the volunteer board that we, uh, the 15 of us who work with Linda, or the 14 of us who work with uh, the president. She sort of whipped us all into shape so we now have a constitution. We are a sort of a professional institution. We have a constitution, we have a set of bylaws, we have a treasurer, we have a secretary, we have a membership coordinator, we have a, a webmaster, where's Barry, a webmaster, um, and we have a newsletter writer. Uh, so we are a going concern, a membership coordinator, I think I mentioned Arthur. We have three or four lunch meetings a year, one of these you see here. We have a Christmas luncheon uh, where we can all meet and enjoy good food, good fellowship, good chat, right? We listen to interesting speakers. We just had Robert all inspiring us to go and spend all our money in traveling around the world. We have set up a scholarship, which we are very proud of, a scholarship that we've set up for students at Centennial College. We've experimented with health days. We've experimented with theatre bookings, and um, we've developed good relationships with OCRA, which is, we hope, going to help us with our pensions in the future, and to further the cause of retirees. That's one of the things that we're doing, as well as social things. The, the, our our organisation is set up not just for social things, but also to try to keep our causes as retirees in front of the people who need that. And Linda has been excellent in the so this is a very bittersweet moment for us all. Linda is leaving us, that's bitter, but she's leaving us with the knowledge that, I think Linda, that she has succeeded in her goal of setting up an effective, professional, energetic organisation at Centennial that all of us as retirees can be proud to belong with, and that's sweet. So on behalf of everybody here, I want to make a couple of little presentations to Linda to show us what what esteem we held we hold her in for the work she's done over the last eight years. So Linda, come on. This is this is a certificate of appreciation that I'm sure she's going to put over her mantelpiece. And <laughs> right, and it says. In recognition of the excellent contribution as founder and president, 2002 to 2010, and service to the board of Centennial College Retirees Association, this certificate is presented to Linda Giottiani, who was granted the full privileges of honorary membership. <laughs> for Linda's blue eyes to remember the college over there. And 
And then we have, some of you might know what this is, a Sony reader. So that when she goes on vacation from all of us, she can take all her library of books with her and read them on her lap. So this is a Sony reader. And we also have a card here that I have signed on behalf of all of you, but if you wish to sign or say anything, please feel free to come up and sign it. So, thank you, Linda. Thank you, Robin. I, I want to thank you for, for your um, kind remarks and, and the lovely gifts. It's very nice. Um, CCRA has been part of my life know, for, for at least eight years, and it's been a wonderful opportunity for me to work with retirees and also with uh, employees of, in various areas of the college. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I retired in 2000 after 33 years with the college, and uh, establishing CCRA in 2002 was really an opportunity for me to work with my fellow retirees and the people that I had known and respected over the years at the college. And I learned a great deal from my colleagues. Um, it's been my privilege to work with knowledgeable people, supportive uh, retirees and employees as well. Uh, in the very beginning for all of us, it was a really big learning curve to get the association going. And there were lots of discussions and hard work and often just plain fun as we put it all together. And I think the result is an association that we all can be really proud of. Um, this this gift is particularly appropriate. I'm a retired librarian. This is an e-book. <laughs> what, what this does is it's like a little tablet and it allows you to download books for free from the internet so I can read them on my plane trips. So this is wonderful. It saves me a lot of trips to the library. <laughs> um, I want to wish CCRA and all of you the very best in the future. It's been my privilege. Thank you.